But okay. your stuff I'm good with. So this is your this is your organization, you're the boss? Yeah, I'm getting a call from okay. uh, one of the head of departments now. Hey Shalom. Right. Tell the brother put a bullet in comment go live on Facebook. Tell him to go live. Okay, come on. Go live on Facebook. Cool. Uh, these motherfuckers been checked for bombs. This goofy bitch. Okay. So listen to me. So this is so this is what's gonna this is what's gonna happen. Okay. Obviously, she's gonna go to the jail. Mm -hmm. Okay. No doubt about that. We're in contact with a di with a district detective. Um, don't because this is this is where the disconnect is. And so there are different levels of laws. All right. There is state. There is federal. Okay. Mm -hmm state laws are different than federal so a lot of the stuff that you think about when you're having conflict like this mm -hmm. that falls in the realm of federal we as the local police department do not enforce the federal but that doesn't mean that we can't refer it okay okay so we're gonna have the fire department come out and check the structure of the building okay that's that's safety there's nobody in there for now no okay. there's nobody inside right now Okay, and, and as soon as Jill ended up going to jail, do you guys have cameras? Is that how you ended up here? You saw it on camera and saw it happen? Uh-huh. No, uh, I heard it. <laughs> oh, were you here? Yeah. In the building? I was inside. Okay. All right. So that's where we're at right now. If you guys want to, you can't touch any of this. No problem. But if you want to, if you're out here with your cameras on like this, I don't have a problem with the pictures and the recording, but you're not going to walk up to my officers when we're with somebody. you got to stay 25 feet back while we're talking with her. We're out there in the active investigation. You can't open the doors, can't be touching the car or anything like that, okay? Yeah, we're not moving. We're not going to touch it. As soon as the, the people from the fire department says that this this place won't fall down and I can get it towed and pulled out of there, no I'm right there with you, but i got to wait for I got to wait for them to give me the all clear before I do that. No problem. Okay? I appreciate you. Appreciate I'm really glad that nobody is hurt. Mm -hmm. you, you have any questions? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Good, sir. Um, so I want to know, shouldn't this fall under hate crime right here? So, like I told you, the difference between state and federal. Right. Okay. State statutes, there's not really too many enhancers for what you would call the hate crime. That's more of a federal issue. However, we do have boxes that we can refer it to. So basically, all this is going to be put in the one narrative, one probable cause affidavit. It'll go to the prosecutor, and then the prosecutor will decide what they want to do with it. They may try the prosecutor here, or they may send it to a federal prosecutor and see if they want to process it off of that. But we have no control over federal prosecution, and I can't comment on federal prosecution because my certifications is state down, state mm -hmm. level down. Okay? okay. My my guess would be that they will review it federally and pick it up there. Would be my guess. But that's that's not my call. It's no different than like so. Uh, you know, I guess an easier example, say like we as a local police department arrest somebody for um, drugs and guns, right? And then they say, hey, this gun came from Illinois, and they cross state lines. We want to prosecute them federally. Then it goes to federal, even though that we made the arrest. No okay, so just because, like, one, she's absolutely going for state charges tonight, but that doesn't mean that federal charges won't be placed against her. Okay, mm -hmm. I just I don't have control over that because that's out of my realm. I, right. I hope I hope that kind of yeah yeah that, I, I that, that, that kind of clarifies it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 talk about it in a So so with in, with Indiana with Indiana law, like it's one like we have ranges in sentencing. Mm -hmm. So when a judge sees it and we're putting X, Y, and Z on there, when they set things like bonds and they set things like sentencing guidelines on convictions, mm -hmm. it's one of those things that would be an aggravator that would be able to enhance a sentence. But again, that's beyond what we do at this level. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I, I, like to, I like to bring that up because... And like I said, I think that this will probably be picked up federally, just from my experience. But I don't have, I don't have that say. I, I, I'm fairly confident, like 90% confident, that it'll end up that we'll do the report. The prosecutor will screen it. They'll send it to a federal prosecutor. Then, then that's when the federal prosecutor would look at the stuff like terroristic threats, hate crimes, that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. No problem. All right. All right. Questions? Yeah, anybody over here? Yeah, another question for? Him? Go ahead. I hope I cleared it up for you. If I can find a better definition or example to give to you before I go, I will. But like I told you, that's not our, that's not the state level's realm of uh, expertise. I'm, I am 
I do feel for you guys, and I am very sorry that this stuff is happening to you, regardless of... Uh, ain't, ain't, yeah. ain't, ain't no sweat. We know what a hate crime looked like. This yeah. a hate crime. You know what I'm saying? She already admitted it. You know yeah. what I mean? So we'll, well follow up. So we'll I, follow up. So Appreciate you. Personally, I agree with you, but I don't have an outright, like, Indian statute for hate crime. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just, I just don't. But federally, we okay. can chip it up, and I think no. that they'll probably do the right thing here with this one. No problem. So, um... What was I gonna say? Is there a detective on the way to um, investigate this any further? So I don't know. Probably if we have the detective, it's probably gonna be for a tape. We'll probably take her for a taped and interviewed statement in one of her holding rooms. I don't know if they're coming out here yet or not. Because honestly, thankfully, we don't have too many of these. So I'm still waiting on some return phone calls. So I don't want to make any promises that I can't keep. Can I, get your, Probably. can I get your name and badge number? I'm Sergeant Miller. I'm the late shift sergeant here. And my radio number is Adam 312. My badge number is 40481. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, as soon as I know more, you guys will know more. And if you come up with more questions while I'm gone, can I get your names and badge number too? Can sorry. I get your names and badge number too? Sure. Deputy Drucker, oh, I'm sorry, Sergeant Drucker. Marion County Sheriff's uh, Office, uh, uh, ID 40584, badge 921. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Deputy Newberry, 44675. All right. Radio so, ID Sheriff 945. Good, man. All right. Thank you. They're trying. All right. Thank you. Yeah. How many kids are in there? Four. How old are they? Younger than three. Younger than three? All right. Mm -hmm. All, All right. right. Thank you. Yeah, Where do they up. sleep at? Where are they at? Luckily not this room. It's gonna okay. open up and it's gonna get cold. All right. All right have a good day. So my next so question. So you're about to take her to jail right now, or uh, I think they're like, waiting for a detective. She's in custody right uh, now. So 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 you're still so a detective is coming. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I, I was talking to him like this. Say this right here, again. flat out. Yeah, and also too. Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all know this. You're the one need to be Okay. 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 Thank you. Down. Thank you, guys. Yeah, no you guys problem. have a good night. Sorry, that, sorry this all happened. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, she pretty much they got her in the uh, in the custody. I can't hear you, Slack. It was too low. Say it again. She in the vehicles. She was scared of me. I walked up to her. Did you give her name? No, she. They didn't give me no information. They didn't let me. And they didn't. Uh, they said no. They're not taking her her little rag off her head. You have her ID? We already got her ID. I don't want. First thing I took, sir. We got her ID, whole ID. You got a picture of it, or you got it? Yeah, I got it. I got. A he got a picture of her ID. You already got to take it back. All right, send it to me. Send it. Send it to me. So I can send it to Cat. Go, All right, and uh, y'all go Michael had to reinforce that garage. Mm, yeah, come, come. Did y'all put the cameras on the phone already? Uh, lie. We, put, we uh, tried to put the cameras we had in, but they wasn't working. So then I put in a phone request like three, four days ago. Um, so we didn't have it uh, hooked up yet. The new cameras hooked up yet. What I'm saying is, did you put the cameras you already have on the This one ain't Facebook Live. Okay. No. Nah. So like I said again. Did you already have this working? Did you put them on? Yeah, the cameras we have that that we have is already working. Uh, so we gotta check those. Did you put them out of the range or something? No, nah, we didn't move them. They the cameras we've been had are still in the same place. Uh, I got a 
Okay, kind of what kind. I, I figured we was gonna play.